Hi everyone, so this is a sixth video, so this will all be about finishing your part. So after making the parts, mostly the most important part is just finishing them and just get most out of the carbon fiber by having a good finish. So these are the shin guards that was that were made in the previous tutorial and now I'll be showing you just how to cut them and then get a nice clear coat on top of that. So first thing to do is tape all the edges off you're going to cut just to prevent the carbon fiber to lift off or uh, shatter in some places so I'll be using a Dremel for that uh, safety very important um, there will be some fine dust in the air carbon fiber dust so this is how I did some improvising so I forgot my safety glasses at school just use the helmet and uh, a mask so normally you should better use um, a chemical uh, mask just to prevent some fine dust coming in but this is a good alternative for some small works so just use a Dremel it's not very easy it's not my favorite part of making carbon fiber parts but you just have to do it so you just use a Dremel go all around the parts and get that nice cut make sure you have some leftovers on the sides you can always sand off the excess with just some sanding paper and sanding block so that's this is what you can see right here so carbon fiber is quite easy to sand you could think it's difficult and so on but you can remove some material just with a sanding block and some sanding paper so the next step would be preparing the surface for the clear coats coming on top of that so you cannot go with a too high grid of sanding paper because the clear coat won't stick to the parts if you're going too low in grid so I by low I mean going high um, grid 1000 1200 is too much so I'm using 600 just to get a nice grip onto the parts So after you did all the sanding, now you just need to degrease your part uh, just to remove any dust, fingerprints and so on onto your part. So I'm using a Motep degreaser um, with some microfiber cloth just to avoid some um, small dust from the cloth going into the part. So it's always better to use a microfiber cloth just to be sure you don't have dust from the cloth going onto your part. So these are the two shin guards, you may recognize uh, the shin guards on the left from previous tutorials. On the right are the parts that I just cut out with the Dremel. So it's very straightforward, you just add some on the cloth, just go over it. It will dry very quickly, just like acetone and so on. So very easy to do. Next thing I did is make some stands so that the parts can be uh, vertically uh, clear coated so this is to prepare it for clear coating with a spray gun so I'm just using some double sided tape um, to stick the parts onto that structure so here I'm using the top color from Voschimi if you click on the annotation on the right you can find some more information about the product that I did in the introduction so you just have to mix it um, 10 by 1 so 10 parts from the top and then 10 from no 100 from the top and 10 from the bottom so here I got some help from a teacher of mine um, just to be honest he just has more skills with spraying parts and so on than me uh, so he learned me everything and I'll be trying to do it myself I have a spray gun so I'll be testing it out for myself um, along the coming months when I find some time in between the other tutorials so these are the two parts being clear coated um, I'll add the um, the use of the spray gun so uh, the nozzle size and so on into the description and this is the result you're getting so it's maybe not perfect but it's giving quite a good results straight out of the gun so uh, this is after sanding normally you can do just like two or three coats I just did one sanded it just to get that results and go on with some other testings 
So here I'll be explaining you how I did this. So this is called Candy Red uh, into the clear coat. So that's what they use in automotive industry to create that um, red shine onto an aluminium part, for example. So it's basically all the same, mixing and so on is the same. Uh, you just add some coloring at the end. So it's not a color that's going to color the entire um, polyurethane top coat. It's more about giving like, um, if you add some syrup into your water, I don't know if you know what I mean, um, just like you have some mint syrup and so on in summer, it just gives a clear see-through coloring to the clear coat. So you just mix everything well. And in the next shot, I'll be showing you what I did with the resin. So for me, it was more about testing some stuff out. This didn't work out as planned. Uh, this is maybe more for making some um, plates that are flat and so on. Uh, I got inspired by guys doing some surfboards and so on, where they just pour the resin on top, let it flow over. But it had some runners in this resin. so. Um, you might say a lot of clear coat is wasted correct I totally agree with that but for me it was more about testing I had the idea that everything will, would flow into an even coat and just um, flatten out the tension and surface and giving me a clear coat at the end that is perfect but it wasn't and I still had to do some sanding at the end so this is the next part uh, this will be about using a roller so this is my first te test sample I've made with Textream fibers so it's a unidirectional fiber into a 90 degrees angle so it's a company located in Sweden making uh, carbon fiber used in Formula One, Formula One cars um, big sailing boats kayaks and so on so I'm um, quite looking forward to use this in the next tutorials so this is more about like the basics of using a lacquer and putting it onto a part so I just used a cheap roller um, went over the part and as you can see some small bubbles it's not really bubbles it's more like the texture of the foam that I used normally it's used for um, for high gloss um, paints and so on so I'm not sure why I get this result but it's quite good to know that it's not perfect it's good because you can just sand it off all the little bubbles coming on top um, okay and so this is the next test I did it's just like uh, the most basic stuff you can imagine just using a brush adding the clear coat on top just like you do with um, wetting out some carbon fiber and getting a high gloss with epoxy it's just the same but you just use the top coat to get it so this is speeded up by 10 times I think just to show you how the resin will level out um, at the end so this is the result and this is probably the best results I got so until I'm not a professional in using my spray gun and so on this is the way I would go so these are the results uh, you can see a big shine um, very very happy about the results but I've put some time and labor in, into it by polishing and sanding everything nice and smooth so I'll let you enjoy those those shots coming up now and see you in the next tutorial that will be about the silicon vacuum bag so Enjoy the shots and see you next time.
Thanks for watching. By clicking on the left video, you can go to the next video, and when you click on the right video, you can follow the previous tutorials I've made about pre prepreg carbon fiber. More than 500 people already like my Facebook page, so have a look, maybe you might like it as well. If you like this video, give my video a thumbs up, comment and share with your friends, they might like it as well maybe. So, subscribe for more and see you next time.